What's up guys, welcome back. Now in this video, we're gonna be talking about the digital foundry effect and Yoshi and what it has done to the fans perception of the game. But first of all, we're gonna get something out of the way right away and that is that Assassin's Creed 3 on the Nintendo Switch, in my opinion, looks like garbage. And here is footage directly taken from their uploaded Nintendo Direct video right from Nintendo's channel. This is not from a live stream. The game looks bad, it runs bad, and even has pop-in in that small footage that they showed in the Nintendo Direct. So no, I do not think Assassin's Creed 3 on Nintendo Switch looks good. In fact, I think it looks terrible. And I'm definitely not considering picking it up, especially since I already own the game in the Wii U. And the Wii U version appears to be running better than what they showed here in the Nintendo Direct. And on top of that, the game is delayed by two months on the Nintendo Switch two months after it comes out on the other consoles. Basically, there are a lot of other great games coming out on the Nintendo Switch that are worth your money more than that game. Anyway, so getting on to the topic, Yoshi on the Nintendo Switch, Yoshi's Crafted World. Very fun game, it has a very nice art style, it has a lot of nice graphical effects in the game, and it's using Unreal Engine 4. The first time Nintendo has used Unreal Engine 4 in a first party game. Now of course most people who played the game before Digital Foundry got their hands on it didn't have any problem with the way the game looked. In fact, most people thought it looked great and played great. And I also did a video on this in 2018, you may or may not remember it if you're new to the channel, but I talked about this similar type of effect on fans and their opinions on games in another video regarding Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus from Digital Foundry back then as well. So in this case, Yoshi's Crafted World runs at 576p to a higher 670 something p in docked mode in the demo. So I want to repeat this, this is a demo, this is not the final game. Of course this could change upon a final release, but I think it is worth talking about because of the amount of criticism that the game is getting due to the resolution of it. And we also have to keep in mind that the game does target 60 frames per second and for the most part it stays locked at 60 frames per second in the demo itself but it does run rather low in terms of resolution a lot lower than what you would expect from nintendo first party game in fact i do believe this is the very first nintendo first party game on the switch to run below 720p xenoblade chronicles 2 i do believe hit 720p and fluctuated below that in docked mode, but that wasn't made by Nintendo themselves, that was made by Monolith Soft, and that was a big open world RPG. This game is actually made by Nintendo themselves, and it's a side-scrolling game, and it's not even hitting 720p in docked mode. And in handheld mode, it's far, far worse, it's running at 390p to 495p, so far below the native resolution for the Nintendo Switch. So the question is, does the screen resolution of this game make the game any less fun? And I'll have to disagree with that and say no, I think the game still is just as fun as it would be at 1080p. But as far as the enjoyment of the visual presentation, I do believe that is hindered quite a bit here by a low resolution making the game a lot more blurry and even jaggy in some instances. So your enjoyment of the hard work that the developers did at Nintendo for the art style of the game, some of the details are simply going to be missed on the screen because of the lower resolution and that's just the way it is because the game has to run the lower resolution to output at 60 frames per second. So while the game still is great fun, it would be nice to have the full native resolution of the Switch which is 1080p in dock mode and 720p in handheld mode to enable us to appreciate the hard work and art style of the game itself instead of having to lower that resolution down so you can't actually see the fine details from what you could at a higher resolution. That however I do believe is a more minor issue at this point because the game itself isn't a major title from Nintendo. This is not like the next Zelda or Mario game where things like this would be a lot more scrutinized on a wider range of people. However, it is disappointing that the game did not even reach 720p in docked mode. But I have to point out that even before Digital Foundry put up their video of the game, I did notice that the game looked quite blurry and low resolution anyway without even seeing that video. So while the Digital Foundry effect is still there and it does affect people's viewpoints on games, it was still noticeable at least to me. Maybe it wasn't to you, maybe seeing that number from Digital Foundry affected your opinion on the game, and if it did, I hope their analysis of the game did not affect your opinion on how fun the game is, because that is just silly. If you already saw the game beforehand and you liked what you saw, chances are you're going to be just fine playing the game whether or not Digital Foundry said it runs at 0p or you know 8k. I don't think it really matters in that sense. I always suggest to people to make their own minds and if you enjoy what you see 
by all means, you know, play the game and have fun. Don't let someone else decide it for you how fun a game is based on a screen resolution. See with your own eyes yourself. If the game really looks that bad to you and bothers you that much, then by all means, don't play it. Play something else. But it does bring up an interesting point here about Nintendo themselves that if they are not even hitting 720p in docked mode for their own first party games on the Nintendo Switch, it looks like they are targeting higher assets and higher quality development, which the Nintendo Switch hardware is unable to produce without drastically lowering the resolution, much lower than what the native resolution is, which is 1080p in docked mode. So while I'm going to reserve judgment on this game until they fully release it, this is just a demo, but if Yoshi's Crafted World does end up running at 576p or 600p upon final release, it shows that Nintendo themselves is trying to create software that is beyond the capabilities of the Nintendo Switch itself without having to drastically lower the resolution. So that might tell you something that Nintendo was already quite possibly looking to the future and developing their games with higher quality assets, higher details, which would look far better on a console that would produce 1080p graphics, which as we know has been rumored that Nintendo will be releasing an upgraded Nintendo Switch and a Switch Mini quite possibly in the future. And it would make great sense of course if they released the Nintendo Switch Pro this year or next year before the PS5 comes out, that the Switch Pro would fix these type of things so games like Yoshi's Crafted World would be given their full justice at 1080p at least on the upgraded console so the gamer can appreciate the hard work that the developers put in the game. Because no doubt they're using Unreal Engine 4, they're using all the effects in that engine to make this game look great as far as the art and the assets are concerned. So I can definitely see Nintendo patching the game in the future on an upgraded Switch and having games play at 1080p on dock mode and 720p in handheld mode on a future iteration of the console simply because of the way things are turning out here for the Nintendo Switch right now and it's looking like there's diminishing returns as far as development is concerned. Developers are simply continuing to increase and increase and increase their graphics capabilities in these games and the more that happens the more you're going to see games like Yoshi's Crafted World and other games from third parties especially they're going to be continuing to decrease their resolution in the game just to get these games to run at all on the Nintendo Switch hardware. It's going to get to the point where the majority of third-party games on the Switch are going to most likely output at 500p, 540p in docked mode, and 300p, 390p in handheld mode, which means that developers even Nintendo themselves really would like to have more power to further create what they would like to create with the latest technologies. And the further that games progress and get more complicated, the more examples like Yoshi's Crafted World and other games from third parties, for example, more that this is going to happen and the more it's going to become an issue for these developers to bring brand new games to the Nintendo Switch, especially when the PlayStation 5 comes out. So really, when you think about it, it's kind of easy to see that Nintendo will be upgrading their hardware soon and a lot of these arguments and issues that people have with the current Nintendo Switch hardware not even being able to output at native resolution will most likely be done away with and simply not be an issue anymore in the coming future. But like I said before, if you did play the demo of Yoshi's Craft for World and you enjoyed it before you even heard about Digital Foundry's comparison of the game, by all means, enjoy the game, have fun with it. There's nothing really wrong with the game at all. It's a great game. So never let someone else decide for you what you like. If you like it, by all means, you play what you want to play. Alright guys, if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. And I'll talk to you very soon in the next video. Have a great day.